the trimmings. Mm -hmm. I'll get to work on the coat. I'm, I'm going to use this as a pattern. And I will make new shoes. They'll be the best dressed sprites in Rothenburg. Well, I'm waiting. I have not slept for a week so that I might create the ultimate blue suede shoes for your highness. The ultimate blue suede shoes. <laughs> I sold the Alps for these! Do you expect me to wear these vile shoes to my Christmas ball? These, these hideous clodhoppers? Ah, clodhoppers! Why, you, you have the taste of a, a snail! Oh! You have the style of a sewer rat! Ooh! You, you, you have a room in the dungeon! Guards! What do you think of these shoes? Uh, uh, honestly, sir? Yes, yes, honestly, honestly. Do you like them? Well, Your Majesty, I think they smile, like you said. Too many doodads for my liking. These are more to my style. Oh, oh, where did you get these shoes? Answer me! I must know who the shoemaker is. I must find him. Ah, oh, it was Hans. Hans the shoemaker, Your Majesty. Oh, I found him. Thanks to you, I can once again have the finest shoes in the land. As a reward, I will make you a duchess. Well, I'd much rather have a nice big Christmas ham, sir. All right, we can work it that way if you want. Guards, bring me Hans the shoemaker. But King Reinhold's quest would not be so simple. He failed to realize just how many Hans the Shoemakers there were in Rothenburg. Mm, I hope the sprites like their new outfits. I'm sure they will. Now they'll know how much we appreciate their help. Okay, sprites. We've been given another chance. We'd better make the most of it. Franklin, you... You do whatever you want. Oh, Shelby, you can't fall apart now. We need you. Oh, I'm useless. I let you guys down. I almost got you sent to the mines. It wasn't your fault. I never should have let you ride my board. And I should have never ridden it. And I never should have called Big Jack a tiller. But you know, who cares if we never work for Santa? It's, it's not like he's Leonardo da Vinci or something. Uh, though they both do have beards. Hey, that's right. Hans told us that we helped him. That's what matters. Yeah, we made a difference. Well, it's nice to be given some credit. But you've worked so hard to be elves. Bah, elves, schmelves. It's being together and helping people that matters. And remember, we four sprites make one pretty awesome elf. Hey, there's nothing wrong with an occasional attitude adjustment. Let's make some shoes. <clears throat> uh, excuse me, what are we supposed to make shoes with? Where's the leather? Hey, guys, come over here and check this out. Are these for us? Dear Shelby and Sprites, this is to thank you for all your hard work. Merry Christmas, your friends Hans and Ilsa. Hans must have remembered us after all. This is the nicest thing anyone's ever done for me. We may never be elves, but at least we look absolutely marvelous. Oh, I like helping Hans. Yeah, me too. Hey, can we work for him permanently? No. I'm afraid Big Jack won't let us come back now. Come on, what, what are you no, talking God, about, huh? Why? Hans remembers us. It's the first rule of elfdom. If a human finds out about you, you have to disappear. Oh, oh this is really depressing. Well, why can't we just zap his memory and make him forget us? Because once a human believes in magic, he always will. Well, if we're never coming back, can't we thank him somehow? Gee, I wish Hans could have some of our magic so that he could make beautiful shoes without our help. That's a great idea, Smoot. Yeah, yeah that is good. Good. All right. Can we do it, Shelby? Well, why not? If anyone deserves some magic, it's Hans. Follow me. Oh, elfin powers that be, bring the sprite's magic through me. Give to Hans our special touch, the power he deserves so much. There, now he has a little part of all of you. Well, well, I guess you have what it takes to be Christmas elves after all. We do? Yep. You finally realize what being an elf is all about. Pardon, we did? It's about giving. 
If you're not willing to give your most precious gifts to others, you can never work for Santa. But you've passed the test. You've made the grade. You're going to be Santa's newest elves. Congratulations, Christmas elves. I knew eventually you would do it. You know, we couldn't have become Christmas elves without you. Yes, we'd be in some dead-end sprite job. Guys, I, I was just doing my job. And an excellent job at that. I am very proud of you. Thank you, Daddy. Now it's time to get back to Elfland. You elves have to get ready for your big night. What are you talking about? What, 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 what big night? Ah, you mean I didn't tell you? You're Santa's replacement elves. You're riding with him on Christmas Eve. All right! Wow! <laughs> Goodbye, Ilsa. I hope you never forget us, cuz we'll never forget you. They finally became Christmas elves and went off to work for Santa. And before they left, they gave me... Magic to make shoes. Hans, I had the same dream. Do you think it's true? Well, there's only one way to find out. Gifted with elfin magic. I'd better get to work on the shoes for Tommy's family. I'm going to finish them for Christmas morning. 